So, your boy reported on a piece of news from the score, from Sleeper, from, there's 12 sources on, on this thing. Brandon Ayuk had refi- officially requested a trade. Then, I went live, and everyone's, oh, Smitty got it wrong. I don't regret going live on sources that you, yeah, you may say, oh, don't trust them, don't trust them. These are big sources that, that if they go live, that's on them. And then a new report came out saying that Brandon Ayuk's agent de- denied the trade request. And so I'm here to correct that record. I'm not deleting my other posts. Everybody else is deleting all their posts everywhere that actually reported on this. I digest and dissect news. I'm not repeat. I'm not deleting nothing. I'm going to correct the record. Journalism is dead. Journalism is dead. If you get something wrong, and, 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 and technically speaking, I didn't get it wrong. We reported live. Two minutes into my live stream, two minutes in, the news started to unfold that the agent of Brandon Ayuk denied the trade request. And so we corrected it on the live stream, which is a beautiful way to watch news unfold. If you've never watched my YouTube live stream, we go live and digest it live. And sometimes these things happen. They unfold a certain way. I don't regret reporting on something that Sleeper and the score had. And it's I, it's really weird that these things are getting deleted instead of being corrected. Journalism... You should correct things, not delete it. Ayuk currently not didn't request a trade, did request a trade. We don't even know. We don't even know. We don't even know because this could be by design. Maybe it's not. That's speculation. We have no clue. But we do know that Brandon I, or, uh, Debo Samuel requested a trade behind closed doors when he did an interview that wasn't recorded, either video or audio, and that kind of floated out the pressure but didn't necessarily become an official trade request. This could be the same planted type of thing but we don't know that i firmly believe a trade request was coming monday tuesday or wednesday maybe it doesn't now maybe this accomplishes that but brandon Ayuk's only leverage and he has very little because he's under contract is to request a trade so that it applies pressure and gets teams inquiring and giving values to the niners so the niners can make a decision is our gap too big is Ayuk our teams willing to pay Ayuk massive money in, in order to bring him in and then a, a team, all the only other component involved in a trade is a team needs to offer the Niners a, a, a trade they cannot refuse in conjunction with there being too big of a gap to close. The gap could be financial, contract for Ayuk. The gap could be emotional or, or actions like Diggs. Diggs was somebody the Bills came out and said, we're not trading. The Niners have said, we have no interest in trading Ayuk. We want to bring him back. The Bills said right before they traded Diggs that week, we're not trading him. And then Diggs created a gap that could not be closed. That's the only two components involved. And for anybody thinking I regret going live on that, we went live two minutes in. New information came in and we reported it all as it unfolded. No one else is live like I am while news breaks. So I didn't have the luxury of sitting around and waiting. And nor do I feel that I need to not go live and digest something someone else is breaking when it's going on by 12 different sources, including Sleeper, including The Score, including a bunch of different big name sources. Not small time, it originated from small time, but you don't sit on this kind of stuff when it's being reported. And why other people are deleting it instead of correcting it and and, and publishing New, look, I'm old school. I come from the old school of journalism. I am a talking head. I'm an opinion-based show. I'm not even a news breaker. I'm a news interpreter, essentially. I, I, I got a degree in journalism. I appreciate journalism the way it should be done. And a lot of people just delete stuff now. That's not the way it happens. More coming on this. I don't think this is all untrue. I do believe that this is partially a plant. Was it taken out of context? Was it taken too far? Did something get leaked too early? Or was this by design? That's up to you. Comment in the comments below. Does Ayuk eventually get moved? Does he actually request a trade later this week? Or does he just sit on this and allow this to ferment and create some sort of leverage? You be the judge. Comment below.